Texas, a place that I call home. Well, specifically, Dallas, Texas. When people think of Dallas, Texas, they see the country, they see horses, <laughs> they, they see the buildings. But Dallas, so much more than that to me. When I think of Dallas, this is what I see. This place shaped me, it molded me, and made me into the woman that I am today. Dallas Police is a crazy place. In Dallas, an act of madness that has injected a whole new level of anger and fear into America's already fraught debate And sometimes over race we make the news. But this is the Dallas that I see. Beyond the news, beyond the beautiful buildings in downtown, you know, I call this little place right here home. This is the place that started me. This is the place that groomed me. This is the place that basically made me the person that I am today. And I want to take y'all on this little journey with me as y'all learn a little bit about me and why I am the way that I am. Action. Shout out to AC the Mogul and Jay Siller. Thank you guys so much for coming in on my channel. If you guys want to shout out in my next video, like this current video and comment hashtag Royal Trucking Fam. And Merry Christmas! Hey guys, it's Queen Trucker and I'm back with another video. You guys have asked for this video. I took a vote on my channel. So if you guys are not subscribed to my notification gang gang, please subscribe to my notification gang so you guys will know when I'm getting ready to drop videos and I get the post, you guys get the vote. So you guys check that out. So I got a lot of new subscribers on my channel. I just want to say thank you all to the, the 2K, the 2.3K subscribers that I got right now. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. It means a lot to me. So I just wanted to come to you guys so you guys can know a little bit about me type situation. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. So let's get into this about me video. Now we are in Dallas, Texas. If you guys don't know, for my subscribers who do know my OG Royal Trucking family, you guys know that I am from Dallas, Texas. And I kind of just want to take y'all along with me so you guys can see what I'm about, how did I even get into trucking, or maybe get into trucking, my backgrounds, things like that. Now I'm standing in front of the building that started it all, you know, from the day that I actually started remembering these is the apartments that I lived in. And I just wanted to be feel relatable. So I really want to take y'all back to where I'm from and why I grind so hard and why I do what I do. It's because, you know, I came from humble, humble background. This apartment right here started it all. My actual bedroom where I used to be at right there, I used to share a bedroom with my brother. So we used to live on the top floor and things like that. So these apartments raised me. These apartments made me as a person. You know, the reason why I'm so humble, the reason why I grind so hard is because, you know, I came from very humble beginnings. You know, I grew up with, my family didn't have a lot, but you know, my mama gave us what she could and it is what it is. Anybody who out there, you know what I'm saying? Y'all feel like, damn, you know, I need a way out. You know, trucking can definitely do that for y'all. Trucking can definitely get y'all out the hood. It can help y'all provide for y'all families. And that's pretty much what I'm trying to do for mine. You know what I'm saying? So, follow me, come on. People go. So right now I'm finna show y'all the apartment that I used to live in, you know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm, like I said, I'm in Dallas. Um, I used to live in apartment 205. And this is where I can remember my earliest memories. So come on. So this apartment right here meant a lot to me. This is where some of the, my earliest childhood memories came from. And this is where I learned that your situation does not define who you are. And I have this person right here to thank a lot for that. My grandmother, she helped raise me. When I was going through a lot of things with my mother as a young person, she helped raise me. She is the oldest of seven, one is deceased. And she basically made me into the person that I am. If it wasn't for her, and if it wasn't for the love that she gave me, I don't know where I would be today. She picked me up and she brought me out of this place. And she basically showed me that there is a better life outside of this and i love her for that this is me this is who i am this is my humble beginnings this is why i am the way i am period period no more none less 
<laughs> Being here brought back so many memories of my childhood and it just reminded me of how I came from such a hard time, but I didn't let it deter me or I didn't let it determine the type of person that I was going to be in life. But those were just my humble beginnings. After that, I moved in with my grandmother in these apartments right here. And this is where my life started to take a turn. You know, I learned that growing up in poverty, you know, didn't determine how you could grow up through life. And my grandmother played a big part in that. And she just showed me that, you know, life could be different. So after I moved in with my grandmother, I pretty much had a normal life, <laughs> you know, as normal as it could be. I went to Skyline High School. Shout out to my Raiders. Um, you know, I ended up getting a godmother and, you know, having a sister from another mother. Um, and I pretty much just lived my life as a normal teenager. You know, of course, I had different battle scars and things like that that I had to get through. And growing up in life, I really had to work through a lot of things, you know, a lot of things in my past that haunted me and followed me throughout my life. And it caused me to become a rebellious teenager. But all of me being rebellious taught me to be the person that I am today. And I wouldn't take back any of my experiences. I graduated from high school. You know, I went off to college, you know, Tyler Junior College to be exact. Um, you know, and I went around doing my studies. But then, you know, as college came, the parties came. And then I start to realize that maybe college isn't just isn't for me. Um, it just wasn't for me. I started putting going to colleges and functions above school. And then it turned out, you know what, the best thing for me to do was to come back home. And that's when I started getting into security work. And of course, you know, your girl had to get a gun. But beyond me joining security, it basically gave me the money that I needed to travel. Um, traveling everywhere that I wanted to go. I got to go to different states that I had never been to, you know, coming from the background that I came from. I was able to do a lot of things that I've never ever got to do before in life. Things in my life that I would have never fathomed me being able to do. You know, I, able, I did that with the money that I had and learning how to save and, you know, just going to experience the things in life that I wish I could. And then that's where I decided to go trucking. I decided to do trucking because it basically gave me, you know, a way out of the hood. It gave me a way out of my situation. It gave me, you know, ways to go see the country and just travel. You know, it gave me ways to see things that I've never seen before in life. And this is one of the major reasons why I decided to go trucking. I decided to do trucking because I wanted a different scenery. I wanted to get out of Dallas. I wanted to get out of the hood. I wanted to see different things that I've never seen before. And I wanted to travel even farther than what I've ever traveled before. So this was definitely one of the reasons why I decided to get into trucking. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to come see you guys and get this footage of this place. This place is really big in my heart. It holds a lot of weight, personally. This, is, this place is the reason you know i am the way i am this place is the reason why i grind so hard this place is here you know it helps me grow up in life you know this place right here it just it has so much so many memories you know i can just look and still see myself running down you know the streets and you know going in and out the house and you know just living life right here i know a lot of people probably looking at this like you know damn you know that's, that's where she's from, but this is where I'm from. And I just wanted to come to you guys in the most authentic way possible to just show you, like, this is this is where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Dallas, Texas, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And this is where I come from, you know? I don't come from a nice house. My mother, you know, she wasn't in a significant part of my life. You know, I was raised by my grandmother, but you know, I just wanna show people, like, no matter what you go through in your life, you can always come out on top and be positive about everything. And that's pretty much what this video is about. This video is about me showing y'all that I came from nothing. 
but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna die with nothing. Wait, 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 wait let me say that again. Wait, wait, making this video because I wanna let y'all know that just because you, you, you were born with nothing, don't mean you go die with nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I'ma just use this right here as my, my outro to the video. I hope y'all enjoyed a glimpse into my life and how I grew up. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this place right here will always hold weight to me. And I'm happy that I was able to get it on video because you never know. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you to everybody who has been a big part in my trucking journey. Thank you to everybody who's been following me since day one. Thank you to all the new subscribers to my channel. But all right, y'all. Bye.